Frog. It's Stagecoach Weekend, our live broadcast brought to you by Gosh Toyota. And Brett Eldridge just hey, walked in, hey, literally hey, just hey. off his set a little bit ago. I'm, I'm fresh off it. Okay. I'm still sweating. It's 90, <laughs> I'm so burnt. I was gonna say. 90 degrees, you're facing the sun for what was that, an hour and a half, almost two hours? That was about an hour, yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, man. You were rocking it, too. I, I was already sunburned before I walked down from fishing the other day, and now I'm like double sunburned. My epidermis is, is, is bleeding. <laughs> That's a huge word that I still remember from science back in uh, yeah. science class back in ninth grade, I think. I but feel for you. They put you facing the sun, but I guess they do that so the sun's it's not in the It's such a tough life, man. Space. I hate it. Yeah. it was, no, it was a great. That crowd is electric out there. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, how many people are out there tonight? Like, what? Well, listen, they sold fifty-five thousand seats for all three days. Eat fifty-five a day. I so. mean, there were like at least. I, mean, I, could just, I could just make up, you know, a number, but I mean, at least forty thousand yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. And on the Ferris wheel, there were at least a thousand. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see any crazies while you were up there? There's always some. There's cra always crazies. There's always crazy. They're my favorite people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they'd say they do some crazy stuff. I remember like one crazy one time. Had uh, I didn't do this, but I have a friend that's an artist, and he said he had to sign their glass eyeball. Oh! Ew! How about that? <laughs> I've never signed a glass eyeball yet. <laughs> Want to see my autograph? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've had I've had like some stuff like tattooed and stuff, yeah. but once you get a glass eyeball signed, you you never lived until you've had that happen. I have never um, lived yet. I guess. I've heard. I don't that. know if I really want that to happen or not, but I think that's pretty awesome. There's a couple of prosthetic legs that I hear. Yes. Right now. Yes. No, that's happened. And. Yes, some, some veterans and everything. That's a lie. But I've never had the glass eyeball thing. Wow. And, and yeah. the tattoo is, that's pretty mind blowing too. Somebody I tried, yeah, someone tweeted me the other day and they had, you know, a lyric to one of my songs on their foot. Man. And, and then wow. my, a songwriter buddy of mine tweeted back, why don't you uh, put on your other foot, Raymond? <laughs> and she's like, my mom just told me the same thing. And I was like, oh, no, no, you're going to have both of your feet with my. It's, like, it's a weird thing about the fact that they, you know, they live their whole life with that. I know. Words in my yeah, songs. I was going to you know. say, you kind of feel responsible. And yeah. I know. Are like, she wow. going to be mad at you down the road? Yeah, I know. I'm going to try to <laughs> stay, you know, true to that, that, that gal. So. Yeah. Wow, kind of almost takes the fun out of getting drunk tonight, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> You've yeah. got a responsibility now. Yeah, I know. Speaking of which, it's a pretty big festival now. Are you scheduled somewhere tomorrow? Or are you going to hang uh, out? Yeah, tomorrow? I actually have to the fly out like 6 a.m. to go back to Nashville for oh, my buddy's wow. wedding. Oh! Wow. So what I'm going to do is after we get done exactly right after this interview right here, I'm going to walk out. I love to go tailgating with the people that were out in the crowd. Yeah. I Because I remember being out in that crowd. I remember I remember specifically a, a show in Indianapolis, Indiana, where I was at Toby Keith's show, and I was way out in the crowd, and I remember being that kid way in the very back. And uh, your phone, my phone is going off. Sorry. Yeah, well, I mean, no. Let's put all phones on vibrate, please. Yeah. All phones on vibrate. So I remember being in the very back in the, in the crowd, the very back of of Toby Keith's show. You know, thousand thousand people. Sure. And I always remember. Okay, I gotta I gotta reach out to those people yeah. all the way back there. And I and I because I was that guy. And so I wow. always think about that show. So I like to go out and I like to go tailgate with him and I like to just hang out because. I want to be that guy too. I still yeah. want to be out there doing the same thing and watching the shows. Yeah. So I, I love it. Well, that's how you make fans for life, though. Right. I mean, that that's how that's what keeps you singing. We you know? we played a show with uh, with Alan Jackson in Arizona last week, and you know after we were done, a couple artists played, friends of mine, and, and then we went out in the crowd. And we just walked out. Not us. We were just walking out there to watch the show. We paced around. It was so awesome, and I, I still get to do that. And I, I love yeah. the fact that I guess still get to do that. So last couple of weekends, they've had the Coachella Music Festival right here. Yes. Uh, got a lot of publicity with uh, the, the hologram Tupac. The Tupac, right? yeah. All right. All right, so Brett Eldridge, any deceased artist you would like to sing with? Oh, yeah. Fly me to the moon. Frank Sinatra. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Frank Sinatra. What a wow. great choice. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I've always said Frank Sinatra is my guy. He's he is my favorite favorite artist of all time. My idol. I look up to him all the time. It's like I would pay any money to see him still alive. So if they have a hologram, I still pay any money to see that too. I don't care. Based on that choice, you've got to have some pretty wide music taste. Random artists, not country, that you have on your iPod. John Mayer, for sure. Oh yeah. 
Uh, he's done those two CMT crossroads with Keith Urban, so he's yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in the family. No, but he's, he makes pop with with blues, and he's he has a great sound. And I listen to everything Coldplay. I mean, there's there's nothing that I really I listen to hip hop. I don't care. I listen to Tupac. I listen to you know, yeah. Notorious B.I.G. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I like George Jones and Hank Williams yeah. and Hank Williams Jr. I love it all. There's too much good music out there not to yeah. listen to. So Absolutely. you did that really su- that super set where you were going through a couple of great classic songs and yeah, yeah. Bruce Hornsby stuff. So maybe sometime you can do Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. Oh, Biggie, I can figure that out. Right. <laughs> Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. <laughs> <laughs> I, got you, I got your back. I got the rest of the Come on. Fred Elders, man, we got to thank you for really getting the crowd excited. Today. Hey, yeah, that's that's I'm, I'm there the, for the party with them, and as long as they're having fun, I'm having fun. So. We're gonna get a new album from you. This yes, year? in fact, I'm about to release a new song that I think we've about chosen the new song Great. this week, so I can't say what it is yet, just in case I get in trouble and I say the wrong one. But I'm pretty, sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the next couple of weeks it's about to be announced, and uh, we'll have an album come out right after that. And life is good. Man, we will uh, definitely keep our ears open for that right here on K Frog. Well, thank you, my friends. Good to see you, man. I love me some K Frog. Y'all have a good night. Thanks, Brad. <laughs>